So as a leader, can you trust the artificial intelligences within your business, let alone outside of your businesses? Now, one of my clients just spent $1.7 billion building their own artificial intelligence. It's a large language model, and actually it's going to be used across 300,000 employees. And fundamentally, when we actually have a look at AI from a couple of perspectives, on the one hand, these large language models tend to make things up. We know that, we've known that for a couple of years. In fact, we've actually known that AI hallucinates, as it's termed, cutely, for the past couple of decades. It's not a new phenomenon. So that's one thing. However, increasingly, it is very, very easy for hackers to actually exploit your artificial intelligences, and they can do a few different things. On the one hand, they can poison the open source data sets that you use to train your artificial intelligence models to either destroy your AIs, create back doors into your artificial intelligences, and or corrupt or influence their behaviors. Now, on the one hand, basically when you have a back door within an artificial intelligence, that can give you horizontal access to pretty much every system within a company. So we're seeing AI or cognitive infrastructure attacks on the rise. And you generally aren't really going to know what it's actually doing. In fact, there are very few ways to figure out if your artificial intelligence has been compromised. One way is to do A-B testing and AI auditing. However, when we actually have a look at using poisoned data to corrupt or influence its behaviors, such as decision making, you don't really know and you don't really have any way to gauge whether or not the answer that the AI is giving you is based on perfect information, perfect data, let alone manipulated data. Now, I'll give you an example. Say, for example, you're a company in the FM, F, FCMG sector and you want to move into a new sector. You ask your artificial intelligence as a leader, I want to move into China, I want to sell this kind of product, you know, kind of what do you think the odds of me being successful are? And it will say, well, I think it's this. Now, as a leader, you're going to start taking some of the decisions and some of the outputs that these AIs are actually generating, and you're going to either put that into your vision and your strategy, or you're going to start using that as part of your planning process. Now, if that particular artificial intelligence's data set has been corrupted on purpose, perhaps, then the answer is wrong. So now you are basing your decision making and your future company strategy on information that is wrong. What is the consequence of that? And when we have a look at the criminal fraternity, they are getting very, very good. They've always been very, very good, arguably, at finding new ways to cripple your business, to extort data and money from you and everything else. So as leaders, if you have spent a, over a billion dollars on an artificial intelligence, do you know how trustworthy it is? Do you know whether or not it's been corrupted? Do you know whether or not it's got any back doors into your system? And even if you suspected any of this, how would you check? Because a lot of the AI tools that we need to monitor, diagnose and analyze the AIs don't really exist. Explainable artificial intelligence is a fallacy, especially as many AIs are actually making up their own languages to talk to one another. And then as we have a look into the deeper future with agentic artificial intelligence and agentic workflows, so agent-based AI or, or large action models as they're also increasingly known, not only do you have the problem, problem of trying to understand what your own AI is doing and is capable of and how it's behaving, but you also have the problem of trying to understand how everyone else's AIs are behaving and the impact that they have on your AI. So there are lots and lots of upsides to AI, but there are lots and lots of downsides to AI as well. And if you don't thoroughly red team those or explore those, then what spy are you putting into the heart of your business? That's it. So if you like that, like and subscribe and everything else, follow me on all the socials and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.